you're talking about having to kind of like pry the artists out of these labels, you know, that aren't promoting them. I just wonder what, what is the label getting out of that situation or why would they not want to release them? The real answer to that, to that is they're getting nothing out of it. They want to release artists because the last thing they want is somebody out here bad mouthing them, especially mm. in today's world with social media, because somebody can come out here and just go off on their label and it goes viral. So all of a sudden they've got a bigger problem than, than they may have wanted. There were some instances where I would be negotiating a deal and getting somebody onto the label and then in exchange asking for them to release artists back off. For example, I did a joint venture deal at Atlantic for Twista in 96. And part of his deal was Atlantic letting Mad Skills go and another group. I can't even remember the name, it was abstract something, letting them go so that they would be free from their contract. And Atlantic had no problem with that because they wanted Twista. We had sold 300 and some odd thousand CDs. It was CDs back then, um, 300 and some odd thousand CDs independently. So if I had asked them to stand on their heads in Times Square, they probably would have done that. Well, so is it ever the case that a label has paid for an album to be created and they don't want to as though they feel like they're in the hole yes but if they're not going to put it out it's not really the artist's fault sometimes we've been able to leave with the masters sometimes not sometimes they've held on you know i think in urban music especially the biggest fear of a label is looking stupid for example jay-z used to be signed to a small independent company through priority records and it was a one-off and they didn't renew his deal. So he was able to leave and start Rockefeller Records. And Priority always felt a little stupid for letting that one slip through their fingers. So it sounds like mostly you just kind of have to like bring it to their attention, like that this person will be better off. Yes. And then there are times where they've signed somebody that's not doing very well. So they're very happy to get rid of them. And it's much easier when somebody else is asking, you know, to let them go, then for them to just go through and drop all the artists that are signed to them, because there's no financial incentive for them to drop an artist. But if somebody asks nicely, and that somebody happens to be a person doing a lot of deals, I could see where they might not want to piss me off, because I can help make the money. Mm -hmm. 